Hey guys, last lesson we talked about how to solve simultaneous equations by uh, substitution. And today we're going to talk about how to solve by using elimination. Um, so you should already have some understanding of what simultaneous equations are. Uh, basically, they're just straight lines and we want to find the intersection of the straight lines. And so we have our first equation is 2x plus 3y equals 15 and our second equation is x plus y equals 4. Now to carry on with the elimination you have to make sure that the coefficient which is the number in front of either x or y uh, one of them have to be the same in both equations. So what I'm trying to say here is the coefficient of so coefficient which is the number in front of x has to be the same for either x or y in both equations. So here we have 2x in one equation and x in the other equation. So they're not the same. So what I'm going to do, the first step, step number one, is going to try to make them the same. So I'm going to multiply equation 2 by 2. So what that means is I'm going to multiply both the left hand side and the right hand side by 2. So that becomes 2x plus 2y equals 8. And now you can see that the coefficients in front of x in my second equation and the first equation are the same. Okay, so now once you have made sure that one of the coefficients are the same, then you can carry on to our next step. And our next step again requires you to understand that um, whatever you do, you have to do the same thing to both sides. So the concept of balancing equations is very important in this process. So let's have a look at this equation we just made up. Let's call this equation 3. Okay now let we're gonna create a variable called b. Let b equal 2x plus 2y. So I just made up b to show you how this process works. So if b equals 2x plus 2y, then b is also equal to 8 because our third equation tells us that 2x plus 2y is equal to 8. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get our first equation which is 2x plus 3y minus, sorry, equals 15 and we're going to minus b on both sides and this is the process of elimination happening now if we minus b on both sides which we're allowed to do because we're balancing the equation um, then it becomes 2x plus 3y minus b which is 2x plus 2y on the left equals 15 minus 8 which is b is also equal to 8 and now as you can see we have brackets here which we need to expand so it becomes 2x plus 3y minus 2x minus 2y equals 15 minus 8 which is 7 now on the left hand side we have 2x minus 2x 
which cancels each other out to nothing and then 3y minus 2y is 1y y is equal to 7 so we've just found out what y equals and now all we have to do is substitute this number back into our first equation which says um, where is our first equation x plus y is equal to 4 so if y is equal to 7 x plus y equals 4 if y was equal to 7 then x must be equal to x equals 4 minus 7 which is negative 3 now will these two numbers also work for our other equation which was 2x plus 3y equals 15 so let's test it 2x plus 3y equals 15 let's substitute the number 7 into our uh, y in this equation and x equals negative 3 into the x of our equation so it becomes 2 times negative 3 plus 3 times 7 which equals negative 6 plus 20 1 which does equal 15 so our answers our solutions are x equals negative 3 and y equals 7 and that is where our two points intersect now I'm also going to show you using Graphmatica that that is indeed where the two points intersect so this is from our last tutorial so I'm going to delete that so 2x plus 3y equals 15 that is our first line x plus y equals 4 that's my second line and zooming uh, going up you can see that they do intersect at x equals negative 3 and y equals 7 so thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.